Lecturers constantly encounter new challenges in their teaching practices. In many cases, digital tools can help master these challenges. But did you know that exams can also be digitally assisted? For example, when you want to conduct practice-oriented assessments. In unserem sportpraktisch-methodischen Kurs Trennspiele sollen die Studierenden zeigen, dass sie individuelle und teamstrategische Handlungen in Sportspielen erkennen können. Um das in einer Prüfung realitätsnah abzubilden, integrieren wir Videos in die Prüfungsfragen. Die Studierenden führen die Prüfung dann am Laptop durch. So können sie die Videos individuell steuern und die Analysen parallel erfassen. Diese Möglichkeit bietet nur ein digitales Prüfungstool. And that's exactly the kind of tool that the University of Bern has been offering on Ilias exam since 2021. Media can be easily integrated and operated individually. And depending on the question type, you can also save time on grading thanks to automated scoring. However, maybe you'd rather conduct a multiple choice exam on paper and still be assisted digitally in the creation and scoring of the exam. Every year, over a hundred of our BA students take our compulsory course Analyzing Language. To efficiently and quickly evaluate our students' knowledge, we need a form of assessment that requires minimal manual scoring. We use EverExam for this purpose. We created a pool of questions, adding to it each year. From this pool, the software can instantly generate different versions of the exam. It's still a paper format, so the overall risk of cheating is lower than a digitally conducted exam. Once the papers have been scanned, they're scored automatically, saving us a significant amount of time. Now, when it comes to formative assessments, digital tools can help to indicate where your students are in the learning process. In unserer Einführungsvorlesung in die Politikwissenschaft geben wir unseren Studierenden seit dem Herbstsemester 2022 die Möglichkeit, mit einem Self-Assessment ihren Lernstand regelmäßig zu überprüfen. Anhand der Ergebnisse können die Studierenden dann entscheiden, wie viel Zeit sie zukünftig in den Kurs investieren möchten. Umgesetzt haben wir das Self-Assessment mit einem Ilias-Test. Nach jeder Frage gibt der Test den Studierenden individualisierte Rückmeldung mit der Begründung für ihre richtige bzw. falsche Antwort. Außerdem werden ihnen die zugehörigen Lerninhalte zur Repetition angezeigt. Nachdem wir den Test einmal erstellt haben, können wir das Self-Assessment ohne viel Aufwand immer wieder neu verwenden. So, as you can see, digital tools can help with a wide variety of assessments in different ways. Admittedly, the initial creation of digital exams is often a bit more time consuming. They do, however, save you time during the scoring process. They also make it easier to implement assessment scenarios that would otherwise be difficult to carry out. But before you get started yourself, just two more comments. First, as is the case with all types of assessment, make sure that the exam is aligned with the learning outcomes and with the content that you've taught. Relatedly, this also means that you should only use digital exams if they really offer added value. If you now feel like digitizing your next exam, the teams at eLoop and the Hochschuldidaktik will be happy to help out.